that's a giant teddy bear. Alright guys, uh, this is Matthew, and welcome back, if you are a recurring visitor, to part two of my story series. And if not, and this is your first video, hi, nice to meet you, I'm Matthew. This story goes back to my wrestling days. Now a little bit of a preface for this, I was a wrestler, uh, I'm uh, going to be a senior in high school, and I thought about continuing uh, the wrestling lifestyle, and I seriously did consider it, but my junior year, this past year, I got a concussion that left me with a migraine-style headache for the past, for uh, three months during that year, which, if you don't, if you're lucky enough to not know what the pain of a migraine headache is, it is like having a drill taken through, for me personally, right behind my left eye, and right behind the right back side of my head. It's not fun. It is really some of the worst pain I've ever uh, experienced. Anyway, that concussion really scarred me, and it made me miss half of the wrestling season. And at that point, I was moving from uh, Tennessee to Colorado, so I wouldn't be able to wrestle with that team at all anymore. So it basically kept me from wrestling for the entirety of junior year. And... On thinking of whether I should be a wrestler, and I'll get right back to the story after this, thinking of whether I should be a wrestler here or not, I thought about it, and the only other opportunity that I was interested in, and still uh, am interested in, for this next year is going to be Ski Club, which I'm not used to having that as an option because I'm from Tennessee, and I've lived there all my life up until this point. Sorry about my hair, by the way. I worked today at Long John Silver's, had the weird baseball cap, screwed up my hair, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's the backstory. I didn't get to wrestle, but I did wrestle for sophomore and freshman year. I have not wrestled any other times, but I was pretty good, and I really enjoyed it. The beginning of sophomore year was pretty cool, because that would be the time I'm a recurring you know, member of the wrestling team. And, you know, you I did not know this at the time, but the freshmen that come in are going to be at the same level I was the year before. Which I know it sounds pretty obvious, but I had just not thought of it for that whatever reason. I just didn't. When we uh, met the freshmen, though, most of them seemed pretty cool. But I'm not going to give away their names. There were two twins, all right? They were a pair of twins. And uh, they came into our group. I heard of them because they had been wrestling since they were in like kindergarten or some ridiculous amount of time. And they were really, really good. So Coach uh, was excited to have them and our team was lucky to have them or whatever else. And, uh, uh, you know, the first week of practice is just conditioning. So you go to the gym, you do a few workouts, mostly running, and then you go home. Well, we had to go into the locker rooms to change and all that, and the locker door, the locker room door, has an interesting thing where it'll lock every time it closes, meaning that you can only open it from the inside or with a key from the outside. So when people come to the locker room, they have to knock for others to come and open the door for them. I was by the locker room door and changing when I heard the knock, so I went and opened it, I only opened it for like a fraction of a second. I mean, it was literally just, whoop. and uh, I thought that'd be enough time for whoever was knocking to get it. Uh, apparently not. They let the door fall back, and it was one of the twins. He's been known to have anger issues. He lets his temper go when he's wrestling, so he gets more power, real manly stuff. Anyway, knowing that just completely past my mind at that point in time. I did the same thing. I, you know, opened the door for a half of a second again, and he still didn't open the door, you know? Like, to some extent, he should have been able to, you know, but whatever. Eventually, I concede, I pull open the door for him, he walks in, and you know, because he's a dickhead, he just kicks the door as he comes on in and hits me in the forehead with it. Didn't hurt or anything, but it was still, like, annoying and rude or whatever. So I went back to uh, one of the senior lockers, and we were friends with the seniors because they were just cool guys. 
And he came back because, you know, he's a freshman. He needs to fit in with the cool kids. So he goes over to the senior guys, which I guess he thought were the cool kids. And I knew that was going to happen. And to pay him back, I got right next to a locker where he wouldn't be able to see me. And when he crossed the corner, I smacked him. It wasn't even a hard slap. It was just, you know, beep. It made a noise. It wasn't hard, I promise. He reacted uh, very furiously. He looked at me for half a second to realize who had just slapped him. And we were about the same size. So he looked at me, and he charged me. And at this point, I had backed up a couple steps, so I had the two steps for him to get to me to decide what to do. I could either actually get into a fight with this man, who was a freshman, or I could just let him hit me like once or twice, and he'll be out of his own breath. He was, he, he was a short fuse, man. Uh, anyway, I decided to go with let him hit me, just for the simple fact that I didn't want to get in trouble, and there's no reason to get him in trouble. It's not like he's actually going to hurt me. And that's another point to make, is if you're going to get hit, and you made up the decision that it's not worth fighting for whatever reason, you need to make sure that any hits you take are going to go somewhere that aren't going to hurt. I thought about that just instinctively and turned my back towards him. I'm sure it looked like I was running away, but I didn't move. I just turned my back to him. He charged into my back, knocked me back a little bit, I'll admit that. And then just two, or three, excuse me, solid punches to my back. It didn't hurt. I was actually laughing. And, uh, like, a senior pulled him off me or something. He just asked me if I was okay, and I was like, Bruh. You know I'm tough. <laughs> I was a dickhead. Any, or a douchebag, rather. Anyway, uh, the kid storms off, and uh, we have regular practice. And then at the end, uh, we're just, you know, relaxing around in the locker room. He comes up to me. He's like, hey, you aren't going to tell on me or nothing, are you? And I was like, why would I? You didn't do anything. Your punches feel like feathers. Which they honestly did. Like, I know he punched as hard as he could. I could tell, but it wasn't a hard punch. So I decided not to tell on him, and he decided, well, then I won't slap you, or uh, I won't tell on you for slapping me. Okay, great. Thanks, man. But that was the beginning of a glorious and horrible relationship between the two of us. We actually ended up wrestling a couple times, for real and as practice. Those might be stories for uh, future videos, but for now, I've been Matthew. It's been nice talking to you, and I'll see you next time. By the way, that is a giant tip here. Not mine, but it could be.